Okay, here's uh, installing a seven color series glow shift tachometer on my 1996 Ford Ranger. So let's get started here. This is uh, filming with an iPad, so sorry about the quality. <laughs> Alright, let's start it here. Let me focus it. There we go. Is it focusing? Yes, it is. I don't want to rev it up too high because it's already it's revving at 2,000 for some reason. It's really cold outside, but it's cool. You can change the colors. So anyway, there's that. Um, all right, let me show you how I put it together. Took a lot of confusion. I couldn't find any really good videos on it, so I'll do the best I can. Let me open the fuse panel here. This is the hardest part. Holy crap! There we go. Okay. So here's the fuse panel here. Um, there was, I think, five wires coming off of it. It was a green wire, a red wire, a yellow wire, an orange wire, and a green wire. Um, the red wire, I can't remember. Red and yellow, I can't remember. One was switched, one was unswitched. Um, I can, I don't know, I don't really feel like getting the paper or the instructions. But uh, the 30, 30 amp fuse right there, the one the red's going to, I think is to the cigar lighter, which is a constant source. Um, and the 15 amp is going to a switched source. I think I have that backwards. Anyway, consult with your wiring diagrams and instructions if you get it. And then the black is going to ground right there. Now the green wire, which coming down, you see it there, I have it all hidden, but that little piece of electrical tape, I spliced that to that big, to this wire here. Where are you? Okay, right there. And that comes under here. Oh, it's dark under here. Wow. There we go. There it is. That wire there goes into the firewall. I just drilled a hole to the right of the steering column. Uh, it's, it's really easy, just drill a little hole, you know, just big enough to fit the wire through and feed it through and I just have, a, have it hidden underneath the carpet there. It was really easy and I fed it through. I just tried to get it, oh, it's, now it's really bright. There we go, that's cool. Just to get it so you can hide all the wires. And then there it goes right there. And that's the only bit that's showing. Now, Going over the front. Wow, it's really bright. Oh my gosh. There we go. Doing this with one hand. Bear with me for a sec. Okay. <laughs> yep, there's the wire. You can see it coming out of the firewall. Um, and it comes up through. I have it routed over here. There it goes up there to the power distribution box. Okay, this was the thing. Um, I thought it was supposed to go to the, because this is the tachometer <clears throat> wire that gets the, you know, the tach, whatever reading it is. Um, I thought it was supposed to go over here to this little thingy, uh, wherever it sends to spark the engine, I guess. I'm not really a mechanic, I don't really know what it's called. Um, anyway, I was wrong. My dad found out it goes to the tachometer access port, it's called, which is right here. Nope, not, not there. Where is it? I can't find you. I'll find you one day. There it is. Um, so there's the wire there, and I just spliced it in. I had to cut that little yellow wire there, and I spliced the yellow and red to the yellow, which that's actually a yellow and tan wire. Um, and then it, it just plugs into that, which is the power distribution box, which has all the fuses for the engine. And once that's hooked up, then you have your, your signal of, of RPM, and then you need power, which is the yellow wire, I believe. Again, I said I had it backwards, and the red wire. And then there's also that optional orange wire, which can be um, hooked up to a fuse that controls the headlights. 
So as you turn the headlights on, it dims the power by 30%. I didn't want to do that because I don't care, really. It's not that bright anyway. Um, so yeah, that's how I did it. Uh, then I actually had to mount it onto the dashboard. That was fun. Trying to screw into a dashboard if you've ever done it is kind of impossible. Um, I had to pre-drill it and get down way far. <laughs> I made like a little homemade stand for it. So yeah, that's installing a glow shift tachometer because Ford is not willing to put one on their base models, I guess. So yeah, there it is. Oh, one more thing. Now, this is for motors with one cylinder all the way to 10, I believe. Uh, this is a V6 model, so there's before you install this, there's this little like dial thingy. You gotta take a little flathead screwdriver and put it to uh, six cylinders or whatever your motor has. And yeah, that's everything. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please uh, like and subscribe. I like you. Bye.